Remember this moment from the final sprint of the 2021 biathlon season? Tyrrell Eckhoff looking to make it seven sprints in succession. Ten seconds to play with, 100 meters to go. She has to keep the power on, and Eckhoff is going to make it. She's, oh, that's an incredible comeback. 3.1 seconds in the last 400 meters. Seven out of seven. She goes on to 13 wins for the season. She is just unbeatable. And, and Mike, it is all about the belief she has in herself. This victory in Ostersen marked Tyrrell Ekhoff's record-breaking 13th World Cup victory of the season. While biathlon fans today are familiar with the bubbly and exciting personality that Tyrrell is known for, this accomplishment did not come easy. In today's video, we will dive deep into the career of Tyrrell Ekhoff and see how the record that captivated fans during the 2021 season was an accomplishment of hard work and breaking through personal barriers. Tyrrell Eckhoff premiered on the IBU Biathlon World Cup at the 2011 Oslo Holmenkollen World Cup. Shooting 0-1 in her debut event earned her a 49th place to start her career. Hopes were high for the young Norwegian athlete. At only 21 years old, Eckhoff had earned some impressive results at the IBU Junior World Championships only weeks prior to her World Cup debut. All of Norway could see the young athlete had a lot of promise and hope for the future was high. For the next three seasons, Ekhoff continued to improve on the World Cup and began notching some motivating results, including a 7th place at the 2012 Kanti Mansisk Mass Start and a 6th place in the 2013 Oslo Pursuit, earning her first podium in 2013 at Anase with a 3rd place in the Pursuit competition. Ekhoff continued to improve on the skis and established herself as one of the fastest skiers on the circuit by the 2013-14 season. Ekhoff earned a place on the Norwegian Olympic team and helped the women's team capture a gold medal in the Sochi Relay. By the end of the 2014 season, Ekhoff ranked 7th in the world and averaged an 11th fastest ski time each race. With this trajectory and upcoming post-Olympic retirements from notable greats such as Andrea Henkel, Olga Zaitseva and teammate Tura Berger, Tyrrell was destined for greatness in the upcoming season. Tyrrell started off the 2014-2015 season with a bang, earning her first World Cup win by shooting 90% in the Ostersund Sprint. Surely, this season was Ekhoff's for the taking. Unfortunately, this would not be the case. Despite Ekhoff's consistently placing in the top 10 in ski speed and skiing 4.2% faster than the average biathlete, Tyrrell had a hole in her performance that would hold her back and actually make her finish lower in the standings than the previous season. A 79.4% shooting percentage, and specifically, a 74.1% standing percentage. With this poor standing percentage, Tyrrell was unable to close the door after great starts on multiple occasions. For example, on this occasion in Nova Mesto Namorave Sprint, when Tyrrell cleaned her prone stage and came into her standing stage in first place. Tyrrell would only hit two targets and plummet to 29th place. Situations like these were common for Tyrrell in the 2014-15 season. Six times Tyrrell would clean her prone stage only to spoil the race with standing misses. In fact, Tyrrell only cleaned her standing stage twice during the entire season. Both times she did that, however, she did earn podium finishes. So what did Tyrrell do to combat this weakness? Ski faster. Yes, you heard me correctly. Upon the conclusion of the 15-16 season, Tyrrell upped her ski speed to an average of top 5 ski performance per race. Unfortunately, her standing percentage continued to suffer and drop below 70%, resulting in Tyrrell finishing outside the top 10 
for the first time in two years. This plateau continued for several seasons. It was the same old story of fast skiing, good prone shooting, and meltdowns in the standing stages. Fans began to wonder if Tyrrell had reached her potential. Was this the best we could expect from Tyrrell? Was she ever going to live up to the expectations of her youth? Or would she finish out her career consistently a top 20 athlete? Despite her plateau, Ekhoff would occasionally excite the Norwegian fan base with stellar performances. Most notably, her performance at the 2016 IBU World Championships at her home stadium of Oslo Holmenkollen. In front of the King of Norway, Ekhoff performed at her best, winning the sprint competition with clean shooting and helping the Norwegian women's relay team claim victory by bringing the team from ninth to first place without missing a shot on the third leg. Performances like these had fans wondering, how can Tyrrell become more consistent and have more performances like these? In 2017, rumors began circulating that Tyrrell was having some issues with her vision and was focusing on rehabilitating her eyes. She told IBU TV she had, quote, double vision and spent a lot of time in the summer focusing on what she sees when she looks through the sights. This combined with, quote, boring training, as she put it in an interview, turned the tables for Tyrrell and her shooting percentages started going up, specifically her standing. Tyrrell kept her cards close as reporters constantly asked her what type of work she did to gain more consistency on the range. She would often answer vaguely with answers like, I have good equipment, a biathlon is up and down, or even just assuring the reporters that she's working hard with her coaches. But the results of her hard work began paying off in the 1920 season where she bumped her shooting percentage up to 83% and skied 5.3% faster than the average athlete. This jump in the shooting percentage helped Tyrrell break through the ceiling and get back into the top 10 overall, winning seven races during the season and battling Italy's Dortia Vier for the overall globe throughout the entire season, which was unfortunately cut short due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The fight that Ekhoff portrayed this season gave Tyrrell experience and confidence to be a top contender on the World Cup circuit. Walking away with the Pursuit Globe and finishing second and third respectively in the mass start and sprint standings. Tyrrell started off her record-breaking season in dismal fashion placing 67th in the first competition with seven misses. However, Tyrrell did not let this deter her. She kept her focus and fought back with clean shooting performance in her first victory the next weekend in the pursuit. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, Tyrrell would go on to win 13 races this season and set a women's World Cup record. But the interesting thing about this accomplishment is when you look at her stats on the season, she actually underperformed in key areas that propped her up in previous seasons. First, her skiing was not as dominant. Compared to the average athlete, she was still skiing 4.8% faster. However, this was not as great as the 5.3 from the season before. Second, her prone shooting, which historically had been her rock, was among the worst of her career, shooting only 85% compared to over 90% that she was accustomed to in the past. However, the area that gave Tyrrell her edge was the one piece that plagued her in the past, her standing shooting. Up a full 10% from the season before, Tyrrell had honed in her standing targets and was able to close the door on great victories. You may be wondering how one aspect of Tyrrell's performance can have such a huge impact on her results. How could just bumping her standing shooting increase her average ranking from 11th place to 8th place and help her break a 20-year-old win record? The answer is all about timing. We see this too often in biathlon where an athlete ruins a great race with poor standing shooting. We also see examples of athletes coming back from poor starts to finish strong with good shooting in the later stages. When you look at the numbers, this concept makes sense. In a typical 12.5K women's mass start race, each lap takes the fastest skiers approximately 6 minutes and 20 seconds to complete. This means at the completion of the last shooting, an athlete only has 17.5% of the race remaining to make a comeback if needed. Whereas after the prone shooting, 60% of the race still remains. 
No matter how fast Tyrell Eckhoff had been skiing or how good she had been in the prone, she was consistently letting herself down in the stand. Her 2021 performance of 85% standing shooting not only demonstrated dominating performance such as her Oberhof sprint where she won the race by 30 seconds over Sweden's Hanna Oberg in second place, but also helped her climb back from tough starts like at the Hochfeldsen sprint where she overcame a 31 second deficit after her prone shooting to ultimately finish in second. Tyrell Eckhoff's dedication to focusing on her performance weaknesses and ability to break through her results plateau is a lesson for athletes around the world. Sticking with the training and continuing to work hard can help you achieve new heights. It will be interesting to see if Tyrell can continue her success this upcoming season, and it would be exciting to see what she could do if she could combine her newfound standing ability with her highest prone percentages from years past. As mentioned before, Turil has been pretty quiet when asked about what may have led to such drastic jump in her standing percentage. But maybe unique methods for building focus and shutting out distractions contributed to Turil's record-breaking performance. Tystrott. Vad är er det där för nåt liksom? Är er det Det är er en båt. Okej, okay. det är dör det. Okej. Okay. Oh. Oh, vi ser ut med det. Wow. All right everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something about Tyrolekov's career. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you're kept up to date on all the content coming out of this channel. I'm hoping to come out with more coaching videos, more content like this, athlete bios, and even product reviews. But until next time, we'll see ya.